from the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio at the University of Illinois campus. This is your UI7 News Break, your U of I news source. Hello, I'm Sophie Collings. And I'm Joey Wright. Welcome to the IJEA News Break uh, on this beautiful Friday. We've only had two hours to put all of this together, but this is what we have come to. We have a lot of news for you this afternoon, from the second Republican debate on CNN to the world's first consumer 8K television. But first, we're joined here in the studio with uh, Jacob Beckley, who along with her photographer Sydney Sowens captured a special event here on the U of I campus. Jacob? That's right. It's a special time here at the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana. It's IGA time. The Illinois Journalism Educators Association Conference is today. I'm here at Richmond Studio with nine other students from across Illinois. Richmond Studio is the teaching studio of the University of Illinois. IJEA is the Illinois Journalism Teachers. Education Association. We are at the 2015 Fall Conference located at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. The best thing about IJEA is the immersion that to the different fields that IGA has to offer. It was really exciting and I can't believe that I was a part of it. But it was fun and it was nice to work with the other students from different schools and talking to them. If you want to come out and join the U of I newscast next year, just go and sign up at the U of I website and search IJEA. It was hot this morning in Champaign, however, still a beautiful day to grab lunch outside. The cracked food truck near the engineering quad serves up hearty breakfast sandwiches each morning. Loyal customers waited in line today despite the warm weather. For busy students and faculty, food trucks are convenient and quick. Whether on the U of I campus or at the Urbana Farmers Market, the cracked food truck is a local staple. Buses will be more convenient for students starting this week. The Champaign-Urbana Mass Transit District uh, is increasing its hours starting on Monday. The I-22 buses will be arriving every 10 minutes from 5 to 11 p.m. The I-22 is a popular bus for everyone because it goes all across campus. Buses are a free and convenient option for students. They are a way to avoid parking tickets. The second, the second Republican debate of the 2016 election was full of controversial topics. Senator Marco Rubio focused largely on his immigration policy. The candidate talked about the three immigration issues facing America, including the high number of illegal immigrants, the failing legal immigration system, and the long-standing immigrant residents who are still here illegally. Children are recovering after being caught in a fire in, East, in the eastern province of China. A fire struck in the Fujian, China, risking the lives of hundreds of children as well as several adults. The fire started in a flower shop and reached up to the kindergarten classroom above. The cause of the fire is still undetermined. Everyone who is injured, however, is now in a stable condition. The world's first 8K television goes on sale next month, and if you want one, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Sharp's 85-inch ultra-high-definition TV will be a whopping $133,000. Sharp's screen has 38 million pixels. That's 16 times the resolution of the average TV. Not only will this TV run the price of a house, it needs additional software to work. Still interested? This TV goes on sale October 30th. The Westford Pop Warner Jr. Ghosts gave a six-year-old boy a great opportunity this past Sunday. Todd, Kask Todd Kaskovich has more. It was the first play in the first game of the season. Matt Davidopoulos scored a touchdown, and now he's touching the hearts of hundreds of thousands of people. 
Touchdown! This video of Matt's touchdown is now going viral. It happened Sunday as the Westford Pop Warner Junior Ghosts took on the Drake Middies. Six-year-old Matt Davidopoulos loves football. He loves watching his older brother Noah play. But Matt feared he'd always be stuck on the sidelines because of spiral muscular atrophy. And he might have been, had Westford's head coach not devised a special play. Checked with the league and everybody, and everyone's like, dude, that's awesome, it's a go. And I'm like, fantastic. And told his parents about it, and they were elated. And then talked to Drake and said, hey, would you guys be willing to play along? And they were excited about him. Matt and Noah were co-captains. Noah was the quarterback. Come on, don't fight it. It was awesome. On Matt's drive to the end zone, a few attempted tackles proved unsuccessful. Seconds later, he drove through the end zone. This six-year-old boy, who wasn't expected to live past Nobody. the age of two, beat the odds yet again. I almost wanted to cry when he was in there because it's just, it's awesome. I mean, the kid, the kid has such a big heart. He has such a great attitude at six years old. He was very excited and, again, so excited to be participating in something with his brother that we as parents never thought would happen. Matt, you did good. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> Matt says he wants to keep on playing football, and he's about to get some new equipment. A new motorized wheelchair arrives tomorrow. Just imagine what he'll be able to do with that. Reporting in Westford, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5. A heartwarming story for this young boy. Thank you, Todd. Um, the weather, it's looking like, uh, looking like some rain today, but uh, after, after today, it looks like the rain's going to give way to sunny skies and cool temperatures. Low to mid 70s until Tuesday. Then the upper 70s. And uh, that's going to do it for this uh, 2015 IJEA news break. I'm Joey Wright. And I'm Sophie Collings. And also a special thanks to the coordinator of the IJEA, Len Hawley. Thanks for joining us.